Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Miss Lindsay with the Mission Bend Branch Library Services Department, and I'm really glad you guys could join us virtually today. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to sing some songs, we're going to bounce, tickle, we're going to do some finger plays, we're going to do some scarf songs, learn some sign language, and we're going to end our program with a lullaby. So one thing I always like to do is I like to remind parents that their little ones depend on them for participation. So make sure you help your little ones to participate by singing along and doing the songs and rhymes with us. And if you have older children with you, you can encourage them to do the songs and rhymes as well. All right, let's get started. All right, so our early literacy skill for today is talk. Remember to talk to your little one as you're going from place to place. Um, you can talk about the things that you see. You can point out different things. When you're in a grocery store, you can point out different fruits and veggies. So say you're walking by the apples, you can say, look at these red apples, look at these green apples. Your baby may not repeat back, or they probably won't repeat back what you're saying, but their minds are little sponges and they're absorbing everything that you say and they're storing away for later when they do begin to talk. All right, so now I have my baby with me. And one thing that I always like to do in my Mother Goose classes is I like to introduce everyone and sing a song that involves their name. As babies grow, they do learn their names. You'll notice that they'll turn and acknowledge you, they'll look at you, they'll smile. So it's really actually very fun to see in an in-person program. So today's song is to the tune of Where is Thumpkin? And we're going to sing it to my baby who we've named Teddy. All right, so let's get ready. Hello, Teddy. Hello, Teddy. How are you? How are you? We're so glad to have you. We're so glad to have you at Mother Goose. At Mother Goose. All right, so now we're gonna get ready to sing our wake up song. Today we're gonna to sing a song called Wake Up Feet. This is really fun because it's actually really great for learning different vocabulary for different parts of the body because you can do wake up feet, you can do wake up hands, wake up nose, wake up ears, all different things, all right? So we're gonna start with our feet and the song goes like this. Wake up feet, wake up feet. Wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Let's do our hands. Wake up hands, wake up hands. Wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, now we're gonna get ready to do some stretches with our baby. Uh, this particular stretch can be done with arms or legs. So one thing I like to suggest is if you have a younger baby, you can always place them on their back in front of you or in your lap. Older babies, you can just kind of sit them up like this. And we're gonna start with baby's arms and we're just gonna roll them. We're gonna roll them up high, roll them down low, roll them real fast and roll them real slow. And this song is called Roll, Roll, Sugar Babies. All right, so let's get ready. Roll, roll, sugar babies. Roll, roll, sugar babies. Up, down, clap, clap, clap. Again, roll, roll, sugar babies. Roll, roll, sugar babies. Up, down, clap, clap, clap. Roll up high, roll down low. Roll real fast, roll real slow. Roll, roll, sugar babies, roll, roll, sugar babies. Up, down, clap, clap, clap. So like I said, you can do this with baby's arms and you can also do it with baby's legs. All right, so for this next one, what we're going to do is a tickle. So. Um, you may remember growing up the fun little rhymes you would do to give people the shivers. This is a very similar concept for your baby. Now, I will say this, some babies absolutely love it, others not so much. So if your baby just really doesn't enjoy it, I would not suggest doing it, all right? So this is called X marks the spot. We're just gonna take our finger and we're gonna draw an X on baby's back, just like so. 
we're gonna do a dot, a dot, a dot, dash, dash, question mark. We're gonna tickle up, tickle down, and tickle baby all around. All right, so let's get ready. X marks the spot with a dot, 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 and a dash, and a dash, and a question mark. Tickle up, tickle down, tickle baby all around. Very good. All right, so for our next finger play, this one's really good for uh, working little one's fingers, which helps them eventually hold pencils and crayons and all that kind of fun, fun stuff. We're going to sing the song, Open, Shut Them. All right, so let's get ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. All right, creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chinny, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. All right, so for today's signs, we're gonna learn different family member uh, signs. We're gonna learn the sign for dad, mom, grandpa, and grandma, all right? So for these signs, you're basically just gonna take your hand like this. For dad, you tap your forehead. So this is dad, dad, dad. And then for mom, it's down here near your chin. So this is mom, mom, mom all right now grandpa is going to be back up here where dad is except you're going to bounce your hand out all right so this is grandpa 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 and then grandma again is going to be down here near your mouth just like mom so this is grandma 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 very good all right, so we have a little song that we're going to sing. You can do this kind of as a bounce. Um, you can just kind of sing and clap your hands. It's completely up to you, and it goes like this. Look who's sitting there, daddy, 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 sitting there, sitting right there. Now right here for mommy. Look who's sitting there, mommy, 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 sitting there, sitting right there. All right, now here's where it gets fun because we're gonna be bouncing our hand an awful lot. All right, so now grandpa. Look who's sitting there, grandpa, 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 sitting there, sitting right there. Now grandma. Look who's sitting there, grandma, 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 sitting there, sitting right there. Good job, everyone. All right, so let's get some babies on our laps because we're gonna do some bounces. This is a fun one. This is to the tune of uh, Short and Bread. And it's just called uh, Mama's Little Baby Loves Bouncing. So you're just gonna bounce your baby in your lap. We're gonna tilt to the left and to the right, and you're gonna end it with hugging your little one. All right, so it goes like this. Tiny little babies love bouncing, bouncing. Tiny little babies love bouncing, yeah. Tiny little babies love bouncing, bouncing. Tiny little babies love bouncing, yeah. Bounce to the left. Bounce to the right, now hug that baby nice and tight. Bounce to the left, bounce to the right, now hug that baby nice and tight. Very good. All right, so for our second bounce, uh, this is a traditional Mother Goose rhyme that you would find in most Mother Goose uh, treasury books. Uh, this is Jack B. Nimble. The way I like to do it is you can start baby on one knee and then you bounce your baby over to the other knee. All right, so let's get ready. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. All right, let's do it the other way. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Good job. All right, so for our last bounce, we're gonna sing a song called Jarvis to Port Dover. 
you're just gonna be bouncing baby along in your lap and then you're going to whoops fall over whoops fall over just like that all right so let's get ready while going down a bumpy road from Jarvis to Port Dover, my wheels got stuck inside a rut and I went tumbling over. Whoops, over, whoops, over, whoops. And I went tumbling over, whoops. And you'll find your baby probably loves the whoops part of the song. All right, so we're gonna get ready to read our book, but what I like to do before we do that is I just kinda like to pick up our babies and rock them and calm them down from all the tickling and bouncing we've been doing. So today we're going to sing Ba Ba Black Sheep. All right, so let's get ready. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. All right, so for this part of our program, you're gonna need to have either a scarf or a light blanket to participate. Um, we always do scarves in our Mother Goose program at the branch, so this is a lot of fun. We are just going to do the traditional Little Bo Peep song. We're gonna take our scarf and we're just gonna kinda waggle it around. We're gonna hide it behind our backs. And then we're gonna bring it back out and we're going to shake it in front of baby or you could do kinda like a peekaboo type thing as well. All right, so let's get ready. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. She doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. All right, everyone, our program is coming to an end. We're gonna get ready to sing our lullaby. And this is just a little lullaby called Sleepy Baby Bye. And it goes like this. Go to sleepy baby bye. Go to sleepy baby bye. Daddy's gone to the mail boat. Daddy's gone to the mail boat. Bye. Bye, low baby. Bye. Bye, low baby. Bye. Mommy's gone to the mail boat. Mommy's gone to the mail boat. All right, everyone, this is the end of our program. I'm really glad you guys could join us today. Please make sure you check out the Fort Bend County Library's online calendar for more virtual program information. And you can also find the links to our other virtual programs there as well. Bye.